Hello, my Crafty Loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I've had a lot of questions about my grubby mix that I use for my candles, my jars, my wooden stars, and I wanted to do a dedicated video on how I make up my grubby mix. That way, if somebody asks, I can actually link this video to that question so that they can see it for themselves, how easy it is to do with just a few spices and some instant coffee. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so first of all, I went to Dollar Tree. I got all these things at Dollar Tree, so you know. I got this container with a cover. It's a nice big container, and I think it can be used when you have like your little uh, candles. You can just throw them in and grubby them up, and it, then you can put the lid on and you can be done with it. I had a, a a viewer mentioned that and I think that's a great idea so we're going to try that today. First thing that you're going to need is ground cinnamon 2.25 ounce. Again all these are from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to pour that whole container in. They come sealed on the top. I took the little seals off so that I could just dump these in. Here's some ground cloves 0.75 ounce. Now of course if you prefer cloves over cinnamon get two jars of that what you want is these different consistencies of color see how you have the cloves that are darker than the cinnamon color and you also want the yummy smells so this is nutmeg 0.75 ounce of nutmeg the cloves i've actually taken and done whole cloves as well like thrown in a few chunks just because i think it would be cool to have the chunks in there, but you certainly don't have to. The next thing is a 1.25 ounce of pumpkin spice. And I take that and pour that in. See the different consistency and color. So you're going to have all these yummy smells and different, different colors to add to your mix. Some 2.82 ounce of instant coffee. Now here's where it might vary for some people. We're just going to mix that up. It's a little bit chunky, which is what you want. Um, I bought two jars because I like my mix dark. And I'm going to show you here. This is a great mix just like this, but you can do whatever you prefer. If you like the lighter, that's fine. The smells coming out of this are just fantastic, just so you know. So I add two of these coffee, instant coffee, 2.82 ounces. So that's going to give me some more texture. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's, it's got some, uh, it's all bumpy and lumpy, which is kind of what you want. I'm just taking a, I forgot a spoon. I was all ready, but I forgot a spoon. So to darken that up and give it some more texture, I add two uh, containers of coffee. But again, you use what you like. If you like the lighter, add more cinnamon and pumpkin spice, uh, the lighter spices. If you don't like it as chunky, you can just omit the coffee and you'll have a lighter mix. This is a little bit darker mixture and it works wonderful. So now all you have to do when it's in this container, if you wanted to make a big mix, add your Mod Podge, take your candle and roll it in and get it all covered and let it sit to dry and then you can add your Mod Podge over the top to seal it. So I have something exciting that I'm going to do for you guys. So I've made up this batch of grubby mixture and I've gone to Dollar Tree and I've picked up a little tube of Mod Podge. This is uh, two fluid ounces of Mod Podge. I got a little container here, a little snap tight container. I've got a two pack of these uh, lights that you can get, the little battery operated lights, and a paintbrush. 
So the reason why I got all that is because I'm going to be giving away two sets, little sets of grubby mixture with your Mod Podge and everything that you're going to need to do up two of these little lights. I'm going to show you how to do it and show you what it's going to look like using mix this mixture. Of course, if you don't like the colors here, you can always add, like I said, more of the lighter color or more of the coffee to make it darker or the darker colored uh, spices if you want it darker. Now I'm going to take out of my, my Mod Podge container here and save these for you guys. So, and I'll tell you how that you can uh, potentially win one of these we're going to call it a little kit. It's going to be a little grubby kit. So I'm just going to pour out a little bit of Mod Podge in my plate and I have a light here. This is a little bit different than what you guys are going to, it's basically the same. It's white and if you had some paint you could paint the white into a darker color so that you wouldn't have to co cover it so much. Um, I don't mind it showing through some of the white if it does. Typically when you do your sealing part, when you do the end and you seal it, it turns a brownish color and it pretty much colors everything a darker color. So all I'm doing is taking the Mod Podge and I always pour this out when I'm going to use it because I don't want any of my, um, my grubby mixture to get into my, my big can of Mod Podge because I buy a big one, so I don't want to contaminate it. So all I'm doing is covering the light with the Mod Podge all the way around. Just covering it all. I don't you typically do the bottom because that's where your on off switch is and that's where you change out your battery. And I do usually do the light on top. You don't have to. Some people have said, why would you do that? It kind of mutes the light. I like it. It just gives it that that grubby feeling. But again, you don't have to. If you get it on there, you can always just take it off. So all I'm going to do is just take my little mixture here and my light and I'm just putting it in in the mixture. So it's all covered like so. Now you can let that sit and wait for a little bit for it to kind of dry under there or you can go ahead and and cover it right away. Now what I suggest when you cover these right away is you take a bunch of Mod Podge on your paintbrush which you're going to get in your kit and I dab. I don't brush, I don't go back and forth like I'm painting, I dab just like so. All the way around until it's covered and sealed. Now it's going to look white and you're going to be, you know, you're going to say, oh, you know, you won't be able to see it underneath. You definitely will. And all these spices are going to cover this right up. And it's going to turn that Mod Podge brownish color. So any of the white that you see through, it's going to have a brownish hue to it. So it'll be all right. But I just go all the way around and I hold the light part of it if I can and just keep dabbing. Once you kind of get it wet you can kind of brush it on a little bit gently. You want to gently brush it on. And that kind of gets rid of um, some of the splotchiness of it and the thickness of it and that way it'll dry a little bit quicker. There we go. All sealed up and that'll dry and have a nice coating all around it so that it won't fall off. And it still smells good. The Mod Podge does give it a little bit of a Mod Podgey goo smell, but uh, you still get the smell of the mixture in there. Make sure after you use your paintbrush, even though it's not a big expensive paintbrush, you want to wash it really, really well because Mod Podge is glue and it will stick this all together and it will be really hard to get it off. So make sure that you wash your brush so that you can go ahead and use it again. So one thing I did want to point out with these wax candles, if you do wax candles, I've had people ask me, 
can you still burn these once they're, they're grubbied? And no, they will not burn. They'll burn down the wick, down to the grubby part, and then it will go out. It will not burn. So if you grubby wax candles, know that they will not burn a flame after that. The thing that I could tell you to do is not do the top. Maybe just grubby the outside of it and not do the top of it. And that way when it hits that wax, it'll still burn. So if you still want a usable candle, I wouldn't grubby the top. That's the only thing that I could say to you about that. So, but these are really, they're more for looks if you're gonna do the whole thing. Now these of course, these are the um, little battery lights. And like I said, I don't do the bottom, the battery compartment and the on off switch. It just, it just mucks it all up and you don't need it. It's gonna be sitting flat, you won't see it. And it's a lot easier to get in and change that battery out when you need to and turn it on and off. This one, I don't have it um, grubbied on the top part. It all depends on how I feel that day. This one is a little bit grubbied. You can see, hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a difference there, but it depends on how thick you want to put it on your light, whether you want it on there or not. But those are, those are two, also two different lights. So they're going to give you a different light hue, but you can choose to do the bulb or not. So while that's drying, you're going to get a two pack of the battery lights from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take a container with a cover and some of my grubby mix. We're just going to scoop it out. That should be plenty to do those lights and a ton more. Like you'll be able to do so much with that. So those two, I'm going to send you a Dollar Tree brush. That'll work just fine to put on your Mod Podge and your, um, then you put your grubby mix on and then you can put your Mod Podge back on again. I'm going to send you a bottle of Mod Podge. Again, this is going to do a lot. So once you get those batteries done, have something set up again so that you can do some more grubbing if you choose. So on so, December 1st, I will choose two winners to, to uh, send these kits to. They're going to be uh, winners that I'm going to get from the comment section of this video. So go down at the bottom in the comment section and comment grubby kit if you're interested in getting one of these kits and I'm going to give out two of them. December 1st, check my community tab. That's where I'm going to show you who has won. Uh, if you don't comment and say, ah, oh, it's me and don't get a hold of me, then I'll just wait a day and I'll do another drawing for a day or two. I'll wait two days and I'll do another drawing for uh, another winner or two. So that's so exciting, don't you think? I'm going to try to do that uh, once a month. I'd like to give out two grubby kits once a month. I'm thinking about playing around with doing a membership. I'm not sure yet. I need, I want to be able to bring you guys value if you want to be, if you want to join uh, my members program. And I want to be able to give back to my viewers because you guys have given me so, so much um, uh, encouragement and just loving what I do. And I really appreciate that. So I want to be able to give back to you guys. So I'm going to do, I think two grubby kits a month. I'm going to try to, uh, do that. And then if I do a membership, uh, where you can join for a dollar 90, I don't know what the cheapest membership is, but if you join, I will send you a, um, I'll do a, a, another giveaway of two grubby kits, depending on how many members I have. If I only have one member, well, guess what? You get a grubby kit. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or not because I'm pretty uh, kind of stretched out with everything that I'm doing and I want to just bring value to you guys. So um, we're going to just play around with this first. So I hope that you enjoyed me showing you how I make my grubby mixture. I hope if you want to win the grubby kit, put grubby kit down in your comments and you will be added to that. And on December 1st, I will do the drawing and put it in my community tab. My little battery's done and ready to be in, just ready to dry. It's darkening up as we speak. 
it's looking really, really good. So I, once this dries, I will put it in my community tab. I'll put a picture in there along with everything you need to do if you want to win the kits. And that's it. That's it, guys. Bad. So I think this is going to be fun. I hope you are excited as I am and you enjoyed this video on making the grubby mixture. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.